Welcome back guys. For this lesson we will be covering our last major sensory system, the proprioceptive system. Firstly, let's gain an understanding of what proprioception is. Proprioception is our body's ability to sense and know where it is in space. So for example, if we were to close our eyes and move our hand around, it is our proprioceptive system that allows us to know where our hand is located in space. The proprioceptive system is also known as our movement system and is usually the easiest sensory system to work with and improve. Simple methods that are used to improve the proprioceptive system include yoga, meditation, weightlifting and playing sports. The proprioceptive system is made up of various muscles, joints, ligaments and tendons and work very closely with our other sensory systems. It uses a receptor known as a mechanoreceptor, which is a type of cell, to be more specific, a protein, which sends sensory information towards the brain for it to be processed. Mechanoreceptors detect changes in regards to the environment and movement, which enhances our body's spatial awareness, allowing us to better know where we are in space. This helps to prevent us from feeling zoned out and allows us to be in the present moment. When it comes to proprioception, there's another major component which comes into play, our body map. Okay, so what is our body map? Well, within our brain, we have a map of how well each part of the body is mapped out and integrated. Certain areas such as our hands and mouth take up more space for our body maps, as these are areas that require complex fine motor skills. However, during times of injury or lack of movement, we can forget how to properly move parts of our body, where movement can degrade and not function correctly. Forgetting how to sense, relax, move and activate body parts like this is known as sensory motor amnesia. As our brains work on a use it or lose it principle, our body maps for areas such as our fingers and toes can decrease if we don't stimulate them with novel movements and keep them active. By spending time performing slow novel movements and corrective exercises whilst consciously being aware of them, we get the brain to remember and enhance our body maps, specifically in areas that become less integrated. In conclusion, movement is key for having a healthy brain and body and providing it with fresh novel stimuli.